And maybe we wouldn't have to do all the drawers on this long one. Maybe it's just the top drawers that we do it on. This one, these, the rest is just like whoosh, flat. Kind of digging that idea. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. We've got a very busy day going right now. We actually had some roofers come at about seven this morning. They've torn off the roof and we're getting a brand new roof that is very much needed. So if you hear any pounding in the background, that's what it is. And then, surprise, surprise, Neiman was searching on Facebook Marketplace again, and he found a potential bedroom set for the Airbnb bedroom, which is the room that we're in right now. And we've ripped up the carpet. Our contractors have fixed all of the flaws in the walls. There were some cracks in the ceilings. All that's good now. There's still a lot of work to do in here, but I've got my painter's tape and I'm gonna measure out in here what it might look like if we did get that furniture for this room. Here is a photo of the bedroom set on Facebook Marketplace and it's actually located at a store where they kind of buy out estate sales, things like that. So typically they get pretty nice furniture. I've bought several pieces pieces from them. Before we go over there, I'm gonna measure out, and I really like to do this with painter's tape. It really allows you to picture how the furniture might look, see if you've got enough room to get through different areas and things like that. So that is what I'm gonna do. And luckily they've got the dimensions on here, which this is another reason why dimensions are great when you're selling things on Facebook Marketplace. So the things that we would probably put in here would be the dresser, the low boy dresser, and then the nightstand. I don't think there's quite enough room for a tall dresser as well, but we could probably use that in another space. I'm gonna hand off the phone to Neiman and he's gonna give me the dimensions while I go ahead and measure and tape it out. So how long is that one? All right, looks like the low boy, low boy is 66 inches long. 66, okay. Is that that long? So it's legit between trim to trim, that's 66, which I'm not opposed to. Like, and if it covers that over there, it's not that big of a deal because we don't really want our Airbnb guests getting access to the bathtub behind there regardless. So really having that blocked won't be a big deal. And if there is an issue, it wouldn't be hard to move. What's the depth? Looks like the depth is 21 inches deep. Okay, the depth 21. Let's just say we did put it directly at the door. We go to about there. Make another one exactly the same. Other side. Be about there. And then a 66 inch piece about here. Technically, you know, the tape is hard to do for height, but at least I could put a little tape piece. It's 32 inches tall, so that's kind of short, but not like bad. Well, I think we could put a TV. Yeah, and if we put a TV here. right here, this might be like a better to have a little shorter and then it could have like maybe a little bit of a bigger TV. Yeah, yeah. Now the bed, it's actually a full size headboard and footboard, but 
if I'm correct, I guess correct me if I'm wrong, but we, I think that you'll be able to, we are able to expand it to hold a queen bed. So I measured a queen, or I looked up the dimensions of a queen bed and that is 60 by 80. So kind of gonna measure the middle of the wall. There would only be one nightstand, which I sort of already thought of doing because to just be a little bit less crowded really. So I wanna see how long this wall is and where it would be good to place the bed and the nightstand. I think nightstand on this side yeah. so that it wouldn't interfere with the closet at all. But that means that the bed wouldn't necessarily be right in the middle. Might be a bit off center, which is fine. So the bed or the wall, 125. So essentially the bed will be taking up like half of the wall because it's 60, probably a bit wider than 60. So let's think, <laughs> math, 60 is five feet. So one, two, see, I think seven. So one, two, three, four, five to here. Would that be too close? I'm just gonna mark, cause it's 80 inches long. I think maybe we'll go eight foot over. And then one, two, three, four, five. That would put that here. Okay, that's about how wide the bed would be. Let's see how long it would be. And I'm gonna give myself, I don't know, about like five inches for headboard and footboard width or depth. So that would put me at 85, which is here. Bed. All right, last thing is the nightstand. So let's get the measurements back out for that. All right, the nightstand is 22 inches wide. Okay. 18 inches deep. Deep. All right. 24 and a half inches tall. Tall, oh, okay. And there's the nightstand. So. I really don't think that it's too big. I was mostly nervous about this and the space between here, but really anything that you get here, unless it's like a really skinny table, it, there's not gonna be a ton of room here. And, and it's a bedroom after all. And then I think a really good thing that we could have over here would be some sort of chair so that they could put their suitcase on it or something like that. And then also, possibly have some sort of table or another dresser in the inside of the closet. That way they could also maybe put their suitcase in there, but then that'll also be lots of hanging room. And then of course we've got these shelves over here that I'm not really too sure what we're gonna do with just yet. I think we're gonna go check it out in person because we haven't seen it in person yet. And again, we'll probably do something else with the tall boy. But another thing that I need your help with is if we do get it, I need you to comment down below. Do we leave it wood like my original plan was or do we paint it? If you say we paint it, remember that this wall 
is going to be that blue color that's the accent throughout the whole entire Airbnb. If we paint it, then what color do we paint it? Keeping everything else in mind. Let me know down below and we're gonna head to get the set. All right, we made it to Forever Yesterday Exchange, so let's check out the set. Here it is. Does it look like everything that you thought it would? Minus the $10 more. I feel like maybe we don't paint them for the actual Airbnb. It's very big. I feel like it's longer than 66. Let's measure. I don't have the measuring tape. They put the measurements on there. Why would I bring it? Like we might like, it would be kind of cool if we could like paint these the accent color or something. That's like removable, so. Or we could like put wallpaper on that part only. It's kind of like a, I don't know what that is. Tons of storage, not that we'd really need the storage, but. I think the storage is nice though for when people come and they can put their clothes, like they take their clothes out of their suitcase and then put in. Yeah, if they, on longer stays. if they feel like it. The biggest question is, is this big enough? Because we'll have to convert it to a queen bed from a full size bed, which I know is a thing, especially for the antiques because they basically come in full size every single time because people, I guess, were smaller <laughs> back then. Um, in the last one time I went garage sailing, you guys were telling me that when I came across tons of beds and bed frames, one thing was that it was full size and you guys were telling me, you know, it's okay if you expand it to a queen. You just have to get the right things to do so. So you're saying if it's wide enough for the queen bed, so we need to almost pull that out and try to measure it. Yeah. To see if it's wide enough right now. Not even that, but just like, it looks small, uh -huh. but like the bed is what actually matters. Uh -huh. So the great thing is like, if for some reason this doesn't work out, you know, I could either paint it or I could sell it, like resell it basically, if it doesn't work out for what we're kind of envisioning it to work out for. I think this is gonna be super heavy. <laughs> and the price on this whole set is 385. It doesn't include the chair, I don't want the chair. It's kind of a neat chair, but feel like it goes with it kind of. American of Martinsville brand. Haven't heard of that one before, but I always like to see a brand on the inside of the drawer. My main concern is the size of the headboard versus the size of the mattress. So a full size mattress is 75 by 54. And then a queen is 80 long by 60 wide. So it's about five inches longer, six inches wider. That's pretty substantial. I've heard that you're not really able to tell like when the bed's on there, like wide, how much wider it looks. I'm just super nervous about the conversion of the full to the queen bed. I don't know if I want to do it, slash if I like that enough to like make it work, you know? Yeah. Well, like that is, the headboard is super simple and since that accent wall is going to be teal plus have like the wooden like design, it needs to be more simple. But I don't know if, I think I want it like even more simple. I feel like I could just do the dressers, see if they'd take a little less, see if they'd even separate them. If not, we could still buy them all and just sell the headboard separately. Are you guys open to splitting up that stuff or do you 
Not at this point. Okay. Um, maybe if we don't sell it yeah. as a set, but right now, no, it's it's the set. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm just not sure on the headboard. That's the only thing right now. Yeah, the headboard doesn't doesn't count for much of the total. Right. Um, right. Usually, that's a you know lesser amount. Than yeah, or just like a th like a toss in to kind okay. of thing. Yeah. And it's a full size, right? Yeah, I think so. I always measure it because I'm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like queen size, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a full. <laughs> so do you? What do you know about like? converting them in do you know anything about like converting it to a queen so or? some people will just use the smaller headboard with a queen mm -hmm. which just means i feel it's like, like it's six inches wider as yeah. a queen so it's like three inches overhang or something yeah so people will it will have the overhang and then people will just add like an extra piece of like two by four and just drill a hole and then you can put just a standard metal frame attached mm. to it yeah Okay, so I think, I think it's laminate just because it's so shiny. And laminate's fine. You don't need to get scared if it's laminate because if you're gonna paint it, all you'd need to do is same thing as you would if it's wood, rough it up with sandpaper, prime with a bonding primer and then paint over and you'll be fine. The reason, again, I can tell it's laminate is because it's super shiny versus like a wood that might, be less shiny. This is probably a veneer. It's got nice dovetailed drawers and I'm sure all of them are like that. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. That is weird. That one does. Yeah, I don't know why, but these top ones aren't. I don't know if it's because they're so small. Yeah, I'm not sure why these six don't have the dovetail, but it's not a huge turn off as long as they're still in good shape. It's got the dovetail in the back. Needs a little cleanup. So yeah. if you want to convert that, then um, you would have to use a metal frame. You couldn't just sit, right. sit everything on top of like side rails. Okay, and but if that was a full, then you would. Then you would use slats, okay. like these, and then you gotcha. would put those down, and then you would use a box spring if you wanted to, but you wouldn't have to at that point because mm. the the slats will get rid of the need for a box spring. Then you could essentially just put a mattress down unless you want that height, and then you mm -hmm. can do the box spring mattress. Couple Have you seen ways, those so. like? Literally, it's like a box spring bed frame kind of thing. That's I don't know. Cool. It's like a platform. Yeah, and, and it it's like, like little legs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you could technically, I guess, just put that and then have that behind it and like secure it somehow. Yeah. If, yeah, that's another True. idea. And also, we already have one of those. Some people at that point don't use the bot, like the, the footboard. Yeah, and, and we kind of thought know. about not using it too. So it would just really depend on how weird it looked with the three inches on the both sides. Right. But I've heard like you can't really tell unless you're like, hmm, what's going on? True. But, and if, yeah. 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 But I kind of like that um, set over there too with just the three darker pieces. Yeah, I like that one too. It's almost like a brutalist feel. Yeah, yeah. but I like the legs and then I I like to paint furniture. Like this yes. I would probably leave because that it's pretty, be so but. That sweet if you paint it. <laughs> yeah. What's the price on that set? Can you check? Yes, I can. And then can you grab maybe uh, a tape measure too? Oh yeah. Well, this matches the trim. But I would, I would uh, like take these off. That was 160. 160 for the three. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I would take all of these off. They're like that plastic applique stuff. Change out the handles, obviously. Oh my gosh! Now I have decisions to make. This. This would be a flip, you guys. Like, I would for sure paint these. 
don't know what color because of the whole, what is it called, accent wall. The only thing is this does have like dimension depth even if you took this off because all of this is an applique. That's like the wood drawers, like all of them have that. Hmm. Yeah. It's just a lot more flimsy for sure. Maybe this one's just broken. It's not broken, but maybe it's just unhooked. Yeah, that's just unhooked, so. Easy fix. Yeah. All right, vote down in the comments. I can't choose, so I know I already had you comment down below, but you're gonna have to comment again. The blonde set or the dark set? Okay. Let's measure this. So basing it off of what it looked like, that set looked like, 21 deep was the long one. So it's about three inches shallower, which I like. Let's see. And it's about six inches shorter, which I like. <laughs> I think it's probably about the same height. Yeah, 32. And then the nightstand, a little wider, a little wider, about, about an inch and a half to two inches wider. Then this is three inches shallower than the other nightstand, about the same height. Then this, I mean, we could put this in the closet, potentially. I just don't really see a need for it. There's just not a ton of need for people to be putting storage clothes and stuff like that. But this could be another flip. Check out the legs. Obviously the tops would need to be like thought about. Again, the color is what irks me because I really do not want to change my design plan for that room. I absolutely love the whole accent wall idea and the color, but do I just scrap that and make these two pieces that color? Keep the accent wall the same color as the rest of the room, but make it an accent wall by still putting that the wood designs on it. That's still pretty, that's maybe an idea. And then we could find like a more modern style bed frame. Headboard mostly is what I'm thinking, but kind of like a platform bed, doesn't really need a box spring, doesn't take up too much room. I've got some inspo picks and... What if, what if... <laughs> I just got this idea, clearly. What if I took these off, and since this still has the dimension, that's fine, leave the dimension, but on this front paneling here, I take the paint stick method to have some raw wood still, and I, I herringbone design the fronts of the drawers, put new hardware on, but then paint the rest of it the teal color bringing the herringbone design and color into the bedroom that's from the kitchen. What do you think? It just got me excited, but... And maybe we wouldn't have to do all the drawers on this long one. Maybe it's just the top drawers that we do it on. This one, these, the rest is just like whoosh, flat. Kind of digging that idea. <laughs> and I want to see if they'll not do this one. I just want these two. On that set um, that she had said was 160 for the three, do you know if you'll separate those yet? I just would like the long one and the nightstand. 
hundred for the low boy and the nightstand. Okay. Thank you. We also have a downstairs too with more dining room sets and tables. Oh really? No? Is that new? Uh yeah, I just opened up recently. Sweet. We'll go check it out. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I have not been down here. <laughs> You should have got a mustache on your sun tattoo. <laughs> if only we had a bar area. What if we put those in the Airbnb? In the There's no tall table with them. That would be cool though. These three, we'd need a tall table. Oh, the floor's a little uneven or no, it's missing a foot. Jeez. Is that from the Titanic? What the heck? Let's go upstairs, make sure nobody's taking my furniture. The low boy and the little nightstand over there. Sweet. All right, there's your Thank receipt. you. That didn't go as planned, but <laughs> I think it went better than planned. We spent less than a third of what we were gonna spend on that, which I wasn't too sure about. And now you guys get a furniture flip. We're gonna go offload this into our storage unit for safekeeping until we're ready to bring it over to the house to flip. We made it. Let's get it unloaded. We made it, got it in, we're secure. Dang, now I'm looking in the storage unit like, oh, I had that, oh, I had that. <laughs> Maybe we should have came here before I bought more for the Airbnb. Maybe I would have liked something in there. Regardless of what I decide to use in the Airbnb, I am really stoked about my idea for that specific piece and adding that detail on the front. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us to find this furniture. It definitely took a turn of events there uh, at the store, but I love frequenting that store and I really like that they post on Facebook Marketplace as well. Most thrift stores don't do that and they consider themselves a thrift store. So 
Uh, I really like to be able to see it before I maybe go to the store all the time, but they are frequently posting all of their finds. And I've gotten numerous things from there. So $100 for the two pieces, really not that bad at all. Just needs a little bit of love to make it match the Airbnb's aesthetic. So if you guys haven't checked out the video from Tuesday, we did a surprise launch and you guys are not gonna wanna miss that one. There's a lot of juicy information in there. So be sure and go get caught up. We'll link it down below in the description, as well as our Airbnb playlist that you, if you haven't gotten caught up on that, if you're not up to date, get up to date on that as well. We've got a lot of fun stuff planned, so be sure and get subscribed down below and We'll see you on the flip side.